This is Miss Bomi, and tonight I am going to be making some hamburgers on the grill, and it's going to be a variety of hamburgers. Since it's summertime, everybody likes to get out there and grill, especially all you guys. So tonight I'm going to make um, a couple different burgers. One's going to be a taco burger. One's going to be a classic bacon um, cheeseburger. There is going to be a grilled barbecue burger and bacon, egg, and cheese burger. So those are the different types of burgers and those are my take on burgers. And I should also mention that this is a request from one of the viewers on my YouTube channel. And I think, I'm not sure if I'm going to get the pronunciation right, so here goes nothing. Um, the Perano or Perino 57 uh, he was the one that had requested um, my take on burgers, so doing a video on that. So, to get things started, you can see I have a variety of things going on here. Some of this is for the taco burger. For the taco burger, you can have your choice of salsa, um, some shredded cheese. The shredded cheese that I used for this is. Um, has like a Mexican spice to it. You know, you can buy different varieties in your supermarket, grocery store. Some shredded lettuce to go with that as well. And for the classic cheeseburger, it's gonna be cheese slices, which I don't have here at the moment because I'm old and I have spaced out some ingredients, but you know, life goes on. Um, some bacon, some, some pickles for your burger. And then um, I like to use some traditional breadcrumbs just to kind of bind my um, meat together, my hamburger, so that um, once it gets on the grill, it cooks really nicely. And then also for um, the taco burger, um, this is <clears throat> the kitchen bitch's specialty. He makes up his own variety of taco seasoning. So you can use any kind of taco seasoning that you want, you know, that you can buy in the store or make your own. Um, I'll post that or link that onto my site as well uh, um, with the ingredients and tail for that. So, and you'll notice over here on the stove, I have also got some onions, as you can see. I'm cooking them very slowly with butter and oil to get them nice and brown to give it kind of a nice flavor. A little bit of salt and pepper to that. And just turn this on low and just uh, keep an eye on them. So I'm gonna get started by making the burgers. So first we're gonna start with the taco burger. Mmm, beer. Cannot have anything without beer. Um, just a couple tablespoons, a couple pinches of your taco seasoning. I kind of want to work that in there, make sure that all the spices get in there. <clears throat> Give it another pinch. And just uh, go ahead and roll these out into a ball and make your patties, however you do it. Never, never flush your boat. getting a bit more seasoning on one spot and I don't really want that because if you actually bite into it you're gonna get a little bit too much. Oh kitchen bitch. Mm. Can I have a plate please? <laughs> I have one but my hands are greasy and can you just imagine it going you can see that but you can see like there is the seasonings in there for the taco and then the rest I'm just gonna go ahead and um, 
a little bit of breadcrumb for my binding. This is just plain breadcrumb. Don't, uh, it's unseasoned. going to go ahead and make a, a couple more patties like this with the breadcrumb and that will be for the ba classic bacon cheeseburger, the barbecue burger, and then the bacon egg and cheeseburger. So I'm going to finish doing this. I'm sure you don't really want to be bothered by watching all this because I've already demonstrated how to do this. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and get these out on the grill, give them some time to cook. Cook the burgers according to how you like them, whether they're, you know, medium, medium, rare, well, however you like them. And uh, I'll meet you back here in just a minute to start uh, building the variety of burgers. I'm back. Just a quick little note. Just wanted to tell you that towards the, you know, end of when, just before your burgers are ready to come off, you're going to want to add your barbecue sauce. Um, to the burger as well as your cheese and your cheese can be your cheese of choice um, I just happen to have a uh, sharp cheddar that I'm going to use for my two burgers and that's going to be the classic bacon cheese one and then the bacon egg and cheese burger too so um, be back in just a minute is that the look of intelligence or what? So here we have our burgers. This one's a taco. The rest are the three that I made with breadcrumbs. So now it's getting close to them being done. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and put uh, cheese on there. Figure out a stupid dog next door. That's Parker, by the way. Parker. And you want to put the barbecue sauce on close to when it's almost done cooking. And of course you can make your own choice as to what kind of barbecue sauce that you'd want. And I just put that on the wrong one. That wasn't smart of me, was it? Hmm? I said I just put that on the wrong one. That wasn't smart of me, was it? I got distracted by the dog. Shit's happening as you get old. Gee, I don't know how. I'm old. Mm -hmm. Dog's gonna die. That can be arranged. One shot. Okay, and then also you can take your choice of buns that you want. This one I just buttered because I'm gonna use this one for the bacon, egg, and cheese one and just kind of slightly toast it. Give that in a minute and I'll see you back in the kitchen. Okay, well now that my burgers are finishing up on the grill, what I'm going to do is go ahead and um, fry my egg in the pan and have that ready so then when everything comes off the grill, we can start building our burgers and I'll show you what the final result looks like. Back in a minute. Okay, I'm back and we're done grilling. <clears throat> Here's our final result. Okay, that's the taco burger, that was the one with the seasoning, that's the barbecue, and the two um, ones that have cheese on it will be for the... Um, bacon, egg and cheese, and the classic cheeseburger. I've got my buns already, so now it's just time to start building. What'd you say? So, huh? What did you say? Start building. Oh, that. Got my buns ready. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, thanks for letting me lose my thought yet again. God, I hate when you do that to me. Taco burger. Uh, you can use your trace of bun, it doesn't matter what kind that you like. White, wheat, toasted, not. Something with a little bit more flavor, something with a little bit less flavor. It is completely and totally up to you. So I think what I'm going to start with uh, first is... Uh, spoon here. And we're going to do a little salsa. 
I mean, it's much better, but um, I'm cheating and obviously having it out of the can. And I'm going to do a little lettuce or cheese. And some lettuce. Chop that puppy off and that should be our taco burger. Um, next is our barbecue burger. Yummy. <clears throat> you can use as much or as little barbecue sauce as you want. Doesn't really matter. I'm taking a couple of these onions too, since I um, had them cooking in butter. It'll give it a little sweetness to, I'm sure, the spicy barbecue sauce that's on there. And there is your barbecue burger. Next up, classic bacon, egg, and cheese. Now, you can put whatever you like on your classic bacon, egg, and cheese. Me, I gotta have mayo, man. A little bit of mayonnaise. And once again, we're gonna use a little bit of onion. Pop that right on there. And we're going to have a couple slices of bacon on here. Do a little bit of uh, shred lettuce. This is just my idea of classic. I'm sure everybody else has a different idea of what they consider a classic bacon egg and cheeseburger. Uh, pickle on top. Top that one off there. Okay, now the quick wash here. And the last one that we're going to build is the bacon, egg, and cheese. I went with a different bun. Put this on the grill for a couple minutes just to get it kind of nice and toasty. So I'm going to put that on here. Let me get some of this out of the way so that you can get a view from the bowl as well. Okay. Um, I put a piece of bacon on there. Where did my flipper go? Yeah. Your egg is going to go right on top, just like so. And, uh, Put another couple pieces of bacon on there. Why not? Because all these are just so damn healthy for you. Not exactly. So let me move some of this out of the way. And there you have it, boys and girls. My take on burgers. This is our taco. This is our classic bacon, egg, and cheese. This is our barbecue. And this is the one that is the bacon, egg, and cheese burger. So there you have it, my take on burgers. Give one or none a try, whatever floats your boat. And I'll uh, catch you next time. Until then, this is Ms. Bomi saying good night and good eats.